Tom Lonigan, Andrew Mackey and David Wojcinski returned to the unbeaten Geelong team while Josh Hunt celebrated his 150th game. Sydney had lost the previous eight clashes against the Cats but had won the last four played at the SCG. Geelong's Chris Scott and Sydney's John Longmire had yet to taste defeat as AFL coaches. The Cats came out flying in the rainy conditions with their leading goal scorer booting their first major. Menzel slips in and out of trouble and gets it on the boot. He's proven himself to be a goal kicker. Steve Johnson climbed to the heavens. Oh, what a mark that is! Johnson with a different opponent in Richards. Oh. Before Paul Chapman made it 18 6. It's not bad, it is better than that. He's just done the journey. Geelong discard Shane Mumford booted Sydney second before a free kick saw Adam Goods take full advantage. Goods should put Sydney in front for the first time tonight. Reese Shaw underscored the Swans' high defensive standards. Oh, terrific effort, Shaw. Paul Bevan booted the Swans' fourth unanswered goal for a 27 20 quarter time lead. It's a massive kick and a massive boost to the Sydney Swans. Cameron Ling came up with a knee injury before Corey Enright ended Geelong's 22 minute spell without a goal. It's away to the right but it holds its line and it's through. According to the umpire, Andres Everett got into trouble. Replay show he actually got a hand for that. And Wojcinski made no mistake. Unworried, puts it through Geelong in front. The Swans kept goalless in the term as Chapman knocked in his second. At half time, Geelong 6 6 42, Sydney 4 5 29. Ryan O'Keefe snapped the Swans' goalless spell soon after the long break before Wojcinski kicked for the waiting pack and cleared the lot. And a good ball, danger here for Sydney. That's gone all the way, untouched. Geelong goal. Mumford converted a free kick to get within a goal before a turnover set Sydney back again. Oh, misfire from Shaw, Varko, time to size it up, time to get the logistics right, and he did. The Cats began the final quarter with a 13-point lead. Josh Kennedy got the Swans within range midway through the term. And there he is, the man for the moment. Kennedy puts it through, it's still alive. The reply from Geelong, quick and slick. Enright, Scarlett on the advance, Ling within range. He too knows how to find the goals as he duly shows. Wojcinski backed another winner with his long shot. And the drive kick, which might go for another long, magnificent goal. After missing his first three attempts, James Podziadley put the result beyond doubt. Ottens, Pods, have another go. He won't miss that, surely. He doesn't. The Cats are home. Full time, Geelong 11 15 81, Sydney 7 12 54. Got three goals from South Lab. A maximum score for you in your career? Oh, I think so, yeah. I've spent a lot of time down back, so um, yeah, it's been good this year. Get up more up on the wing and, and even having a stint up forward, so yeah, I'm pretty happy. You've hit the big 3 0. Uh, doesn't look like you've lost any of your speed. Nah, I don't think so, so. Yeah, no, I'll just try and it's something that, it's one of my strengths, so yeah, try and try and uh, keep keep the speed. So. Charles Christian, Big Pond Sport.